Here are my top three peptides for improving gut health, all of which work through different exciting mechanisms, so you could stack them together for more severe gut issues. But number one is lorazotide, an 8-amino acid peptide that's main mechanism is to regulate intestinal tight junctions, essentially ensuring that the intestinal lining doesn't get too permeable or too leaky. And we have multiple human studies on lorazotide, especially in patients with celiac disease. And in these studies, they use lorazotide at 0.5 milligrams three times per day. And with that dosing, it was found to improve symptoms of these patients by up to 30% compared to a gluten-free diet alone. Then next up is KPV, a three amino acid peptide whose main mechanism for gut health is to lower intestinal inflammation. And we don't have any human studies on this one yet, but we do have multiple studies in mouse and rat models demonstrating KPV's ability to lower markers of intestinal inflammation in models of colitis. And then finally is BPC-157. This peptide was originally derived from human gastric juice, and it has two main mechanisms for improving gut health. One is directly protecting the cells that make up the gut lining, and two is improving angiogenesis, or new blood vessel creation, which further helps heal the gut. And again, no human data on this one yet, but we do have multiple animal studies on BPC-157 improving multiple markers of gut health, including improving healing from stomach ulcers, as well as from ulcerative colitis. So whether it's through decreasing intestinal permeability, lowering inflammation, or improving blood flow, oral versions of all of these peptides are super promising for potentially improving gut health.